It's not always the superpower that makes the man or villain. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 comic book villains without powers. <sighs> Meow. For this list, we'll be counting down some of our favorite comic book villains that employ things like brains, wealth, or physical prowess to conduct their nefarious deeds, but no supernatural powers of any kind. Now you face the Shredder. Number 10, Mysterio. I am Mysterio, and I am putting Spider-Man on notice. Now you see him, now you don't. Working as a talented stage magician has given this villain the illusion of having superpowers. However, it's his clever use of hypnotism and special effects that confounds his opponents. Don't be afraid. I won't let him hurt you. You're the only one who has to worry about getting hurt. Upon closer analysis, the villain sports a large glass dome on his head that shrouds his appearance, and he arms the rest of his costume with toxic gases, a smoke screen, magnetic coil springs, and even a holographic projector. So, magic really is all smoke and mirrors, eh, Mysterio? Great. Now I've stepped into a Ray Harryhausen movie. Number 9, Justin Hammer. Let the record reflect that I observed Mr. Hammer entering the chamber, and I am wondering if and when any actual expert will also be in attendance. With wealth comes power, and those who use that power for evil are some of the most threatening villains imaginable. You know, you don't just go and try and kill the guy. I think, if I may, you go after his legacy, that's what you kill. There happens to be an immense amount of funding that goes into the superpowered weapons in the Marvel Universe, and this middle-aged business tycoon happens to create quite a number of them. Hammer is more than willing to sell those weapons to the bad guys as long as the price is right and he sees a way for his company, Hammer Industries, to move up the business ladder. I want to make Iron Man look like an antique. I want to go to that Stark Expo. I want to take a dump in Tony's front yard. You know what I'm talking about? Number 8, The Penguin. I am a man! I have a name! Oswald Cobblepot! Being a villain is no excuse to lack presentation in class. Oswald Cobblepot considers himself a gentleman of crime and keeps a close ear to Gotham's underbelly through the means of his various nightclubs and casinos. So, Batman, you here for the cops or me? I was only here for the hostages. But now, I'm taking you down too. <laughs> Apart from the crime lord's affluence, Penguin is a man who believes in possessing a strong network, making him nearly untouchable by the law or even rival gangs. The liberation of Gotham has begun! Despite the businessman's small stature, it would be unwise to underestimate his tenacity, will to survive, and of course, those weaponized umbrellas. Hey! Away we go in my birdmobile! Number 7, The Shredder. There will be no mistake this time. I go myself, and the rat kill it. Ninjas are commonly known for subtlety and resourcefulness, although the occasional one is still known to accessorize. Shredder is considered the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle's most cutthroat villain for a myriad of reasons. Your hairy little friend knows me as Oroku Saki. But you may call me the Shredder. A kitchen utensil? The Foot Clan Ninja makes for quite the appearance, as he's decked himself out in spiked armor. When combined with his natural combat ability, it's not hard to see why Shredder is one of the most menacing foes in comic book history. Unlike some villains, Shredder is patient and calculating, rarely allowing his ego to cloud his judgment. He commands an army of foot soldiers that he slowly accumulated over time in an effort to defeat the Turtles. Money cannot buy the honor you have earned tonight. Number 6, The Riddler. I knew Waller would send someone. I'm too clever for her to let me live. Riddle me this. What do you call a narcissistic man that clads himself in a green suit and is chock full of riddles? A pain in the ass, that's what. Most would refer to this elusive villain as the Riddler, Batman's most cerebral foe. So, Mr. Nigma, what's on your mind? Precisely. What's on all our minds? Brainwaves. <laughs> Unlike some of the Dark Knight's more confrontational adversaries, Edward Nigma is likely to keep his opponents at a distance and wants nothing more than to prove his intellectual superiority. Riddle me this, riddle me that. By contriving hellish puzzles and traps that challenge his victim's mental capacity, the Riddler can wage his criminal war psychologically. What people are always in a hurry? Russian people? Russians! Right again. Now, what would you say they mean? Banana, Russian. I've got it! 
Someone Russian is gonna slip on a banana peel and break their neck. Precisely, Robin. Number five, Bullseye. Precision isn't merely an option for this assassin, it's a guarantee. Bullseye may not have any superpowers, but his uncanny accuracy and lethal throwing arm have often been described as supernatural. Whether it can be an actual weapon or something mundane and innocent, this master assassin can kill just about anyone with just about anything. <laughs> Bullseye's passion for his art has led him to often stalk and study his target before striking, giving him a psychotic obsession with those he fails to take down. Bullseye. <laughs> Number four, Harley Quinn. What's your hurry, Harl? <laughs> this enchanting mistress of chaos is as dangerous as they come, commonly underestimated due to her small stature and childlike behavior. Harley Quinn has proven to be one of Gotham City's most dangerous criminals. I'll pull a big heist and I'll be laughing at you. Ha ha, you hear? Laughing! Introduced as the Joker's right-hand woman, this ex-psychiatrist is a lot more cunning than she appears to be. And like the Joker, she has a specialty for finding and exploiting the weaknesses of her opponents. Crap! You're Harley Quinn! Don't move, you crazy bitch! <laughs> Being a skilled gymnast and versed in a wide array of weaponry also helps this villainess to become a triple threat with beauty, brawn, and brains. So, where do you think she lands on the hot to crazy scale? Welcome back. Did you miss me? What do you want? I got an itch. I thought you could help me scratch, cowboy. Number three, Kingpin. I don't know much about wine. My assistant, he recommended it. Maybe I should be out with him. That was a joke. Yes, of course. <laughs> this New York City crime lord believes in living large. Much like his influence in the streets, Kingpin's physical stature is massive, making his presence that much more intimidating. Despite his rounded appearance, Kingpin's body is primarily composed of muscle, giving him the ability to rival super-powered heroes in battle. This city doesn't deserve a better tomorrow! It deserves to drown! And it's filth! It deserves people like my father! What makes the Kingpin so threatening is that despite his wealth and prestige, he won't hesitate to get his hands dirty and be on the front lines of his criminal activities. <laughs> Number 2, Lex Luthor. Hello, sunshine. Power comes in a variety of different forms. However, for this tech mogul, it's expressed through a billion dollar corporation. Lex's genius and wealth has spread his influence beyond the borders of Metropolis, and even gave him a bid as the President of the United States, despite his well-recorded criminal background. I'd like to meet with Superman as soon as possible. It's time to bury our rivalry once and for all. Perhaps the only thing that can match Luther's intelligence is his massive ego, as he's truly accepted the idea that he's the smartest man alive. Doesn't it give you a kind of a, a, a shudder of electricity through you to be in the same room with me? There is no facet of modern science that Lex hasn't mastered, and with his unlimited access to extraterrestrial resources, he won't stop until the whole world recognizes his greatness. I told you, that's kryptonite, Superman. Little souvenir for the old hometown. I've spared no expense to make you feel right at home. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Harvey! I have your attention now. I didn't realize Xavier was taken in animals, even animals as unique as you. Who are you? Don't you remember? Number one, the Joker. Hello, anybody home? <laughs> Listen, Boopsy, even though you never call and never write, I still got a soft spot for you. So I'm sending you a fun gift, airmail. Sanity is overrated. Being one of the most notorious wildcards amongst DC's long list of villains, the Joker's overall motivations are rarely explained. I swear by every fiend of felonious fundum, tomorrow all opposition from the dynamic duo will stop. I've got the stopper right here. The last stopper. Going up against none other than Batman himself, the Clown Prince of Crime will employ any tactic at his disposal that will test the superhero's morality. See, I'm not a monster. 
I'm just ahead of the curve. Despite his comical appearance, the villain can be described as nothing short of a criminal mastermind. Commonly seen accompanied by a group of loyal henchmen and with a number of weaponized gag props, the Joker is one of the most dangerous villains in comic book history, and he's technically just a guy. Uh, very cute, but I can blow smoke too, toots. Do you agree with our list? Are you kidding? I feel great! What villain without powers do you like the best? For more supernatural top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. You either die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain.